question from Amy Just. Yeah, DeMario, with um, Antonio Brown there now, this is his first game since early last year. How do you, I guess, prepare for a guy that there's no really recent tape on and that he's in a completely new scheme too? Yeah, I think that's kind of the unknown of the things you do. You just kind of go based on the things that you do know. He's a phenomenal talent. So um, him being on the team, you know they're going to try to find ways to, to get him the ball. Um, you don't know exactly how they're going to use him. So you just kind of just understand, like, if he's in the game, they're going to find ways to get him the ball. Um, but at the same time, you spend more time focusing on the things you do know about a team and the players that you do know uh, because that's what they've – uh, being consistent, and that's probably what they're going to feel the most confident in. Yeah, uh, follow up on that. Just how different do they look from the preparation that y'all had to do for week one and not knowing a whole lot about how Tom Brady would fit uh, compared to now? I think they they they're, um, they found more of their identity and who they're going to be this season, uh, the players that they're going to use, when they're going to use them, um, the things that um, – you know, Tom feels the most comfortable with the things that the plays that they feel most comfortable calling. Um, so I think you have a lot more tape to study that can kind of show you who their identity where uh, when we played them the first time it was week one and you don't know how much a team is going to be the same or have changed over that offseason. Next question is from Amos Morrell. Hey, Amos, uh, love the hoodie, by the way. But, um, Regarding, you're kind of talking about how they've changed, what are some of the areas you've seen them kind of build an identity? Uh, when they had so many running backs early on that you didn't know which one was going to be the number one back or the number two back where, you know, they kind of shown, you know, who they like to go to. Uh, when they brought Grunk over, understanding that they had three really good tight ends, you don't know which one they want to use where. So that, I mean, you, you, you kind of get a feel for teams like, they like this player in this situation. They like this player in this situation. Um, you know, uh, how was he going to jail with the receivers? Which receivers was he going to like the most? What situation was he going to like them in? Um, you know, is Tom going to run his plays? Are they going to, you know, adjust to, to Bruce Arian's system? You know, so it was so much of that where you didn't know. So you were kind of studying for two teams where now they've kind of meshed into to one team and have one identity and you can just go based on the tape, you know, kind of who they are. Next question is from Chris Donalds. Hey, Mario, I'm not sure if you've addressed this anywhere else before, but I just wanted to get your thoughts on the Quan Alexander edition. See if maybe you've had a chance to talk to him since he joined the team. Yeah, I've, I've, I've um, talked with him a little bit. Anytime you're able to get um, good players, this league is it's a fast game. You want, you want fast, athletic players. Uh, somebody that's definitely going to that plays the game with high energy. Uh, so I think he's going to be a player that comes in and helps our unit, help our defense. So I'm excited to play with him. Next question is from Rod Walker. Hey, Demario, I know you try to treat every game the same, but how hard is it to do that when you're playing on Sunday night um, against Tom Brady, Antonio Brown coming back, Drew Brees? I mean, how hard is it to just treat this as a regular game when it's – when, with all of this at stake? Well, I mean, I, for me, it's, it, they're always um, the most exciting, the most uh, energetic, you know, games that could be played. And it's because it's the next one. I think it's such a blessing to be able to play this game, uh, to be able to go against great talents that you're going against every week. Uh, it's, a, it's, it's a kid's game that grown men get to play, um, and a lot is at stake. And I think to play this game the right way, that's how you have to approach each and every one of them. And so if you can, if you have the ability to raise your level of play in any game, then something was wrong in those other games. And so I just, I just can't see myself uh, getting any more hyped up or, um, you know, energetic or passionate about a game because it's a particular opponent because I try to play at the highest level every time I go out. A follow-up question of who you got in Pearl Brandon? Come on, man. You see it. You see it. 
you see who you see who we, we represent. Brand over everything, man. Next one's from Chris Donalds. Speaking of Brandon, so I'm in Jackson, Mississippi tomorrow. I was curious if you uh, saw and had any thoughts on uh, Mississippi finally adopting a new state flag. Uh, yeah, that's, that's just long overdue. Um, but, you know, better late than never. I think it, it, it symbolizes uh, progress. It may be slow progress, but progress over perfection, for sure. All right, I think we're all set. Thank you, Demario. Hey, thank you, guys. Be blessed.